Hello and welcome back to another 4.3 patch video with me, Mioni, for Final Fantasy XIV. This time I want to take a brief look at how to unlock and find the new custom deliveries in 4.3 for gathering and crafting subclasses, and what they're all about. So if you come to Kagane, you will find inside the hostelry at X10.2, Y9.9, a level 62 quest on this Kojin here called The Seaweed is Always Greener. This will take you to Tamamazu under the Ruby Sea, also the home of the Blue Kojin. Nearby you will meet up with Kurinai, whom if you remember from a main scenario, and now from the help of the House of Splendors, yes, that House of Splendors, will work towards allowing the people of Suino Sato to adjust to outside help, and to eventually venture from their literal underwater bubble. This involves, as you would imagine, a storyline similar to that of Zloe Aliapo or Minago's questline, where you were helping people by progressing a story by handing in collectible items, be it crafted or gathered. The collectibles have a collectability requirement on them, and you can find this out when you talk to Kurinai, and she will give you a list of what she wants for those first three deliveries. You can do six turn-ins per week, with a reset on every Tuesday morning Earth time each week. Usually you do three turn-ins of what she lists, and then a cutscene will trigger, and then three other items will be listed instead, and those will be requested for you to craft. So it's pointless crafting six at once, you might as well just do three and see what the next craft is. Through this storyline, it turns out eventually you'll be able to dress or glamour Kurinai up with glamour prisms and gear like you could your adventurous squadron members, for reasons. But also you obviously get the experience for the turn-ins for crafting and gathering classes, as well as scripts and gill. If you do decide to craft these instead of gather them, you'll have to note that the blue Kojin merchant the other side of town, over here, will sell you all of the components you need to make your collectible crafting turn-in items, which I would strongly argue is much less time consuming than going and gathering them, but that's my personal preference. You are limited to 6 turn-ins per week, and you will slowly unlock the features and indeed the storyline as you go, ultimately rewarding you with the Coronize Best Friend achievement and title for the maximum rank with her. All in all, I love custom deliveries. I use them to level my crafters up each week, and the storylines are usually quite light-hearted and quite enjoyable. Either way, this was my brief look at the new custom deliveries in patch 4.3 and where you can find them. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time.